Hey, hey, Spring Lefay, Simply Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, this is a reading for you. I'm drawn to this, this deck. You've got Yang. Okay, that's the number one card. So the beginning, start of something. You may be asked to take charge. You may be the one that has to initiate whatever has to start. Um, I also feel like for some of you, this is the beginning of something. This is you starting something. Something that could be very, um, have a big potential in the long run, it feels like. So, you know, if um, you've been thinking about starting some sort of um, possibly business of your own, now may be the time for that. But you've got to be in a mindset of get her done, get her done, get her done, get it done, get it done. You doing it. You getting it done. It's got that feeling to it. Is there another? Okay, if this is romantic, we've got soulmates there. Um, I feel like that, you know, sometimes it, it may take time. And some soulmates are here to teach you lessons. So it's going to be different for different people. But yeah, um, they're not all here to be in our lives forever. That's just the way it is. Okay, our reading. Ten of Raphael. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members happily ever after. So, some, and that's got a rainbow. See that? Happily ever after. Wow. So, look for things to um, get good in relationships. Or a relationship in, in particular. Okay, here's our reading. Okay. You got number 15, which is decision. Archangel Joel, release yourself from that which holds you back. Do you see that cage? You want to be held back. Um, a need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence. So you need to let go of worry. You need to put out anything out of your life that's holding you back, that's keeping you stuck, that's negative, that's just got you in this mindset of, you know, not getting what you need to get done, done, not doing what you need to do, not, you know, thinking about yourself. You need to do that. Um, I feel like that uh, with Five of Michael being here, it says this situation doesn't serve you. So release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So something, a situation doesn't serve you. You know, release the attachment to the outcome of that situation. Don't expect anything from that situation. Uh, change your approach. Use a better approach going forward. Then we have nine of Raphael. Make a wish. Dreams become reality. Oh, well, this is awesome reading. A joyful time of life. So things coming to fruition. Things happening. Uh, but, you know, that too has to do with how you perceive things, how you do going forward. Everyone has free will, you know, yeah. Five of Gabriel, a challenge you can resolve with withdrawal from the drama of others. Have patience with yourself and those around you. So patience is going to be very important for you at this time. And take yourself away from any drama that's around you. Don't let yourself be involved in it. You know, don't allow yourself to um, feel that negativity. Just pull yourself back and say, you know, I'm not going to worry about this. I'm not going to be involved in any negative or drama field. Uh-uh. Just don't allow it. You're not going to do it. That's that's the mindset you need to have. Um, I feel like if you're on your spiritual path, because I feel like for some of you, you are. Okay. You have got answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? And for some of you, this could have to do with you having um, gifts that maybe you're not you know, allowing yourself to be open to. And it's time for you to open up to those gifts. Um, showing the world, you know, giving, uh, helping and doing and what you need to do. Trust the niggle. Okay. 
what is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? So what is what what is you know your intuition? What is your gut? What is that little feeling trying to tell you? Be open to receiving that message. Be open to knowing that will take you forward on your spiritual path and your spiritual journey. Okay. Spirit animal card. We have got number 53, seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. So be patient. Watch and wait. Something's about to show itself to you. Do you see the colors? It's like this will be colorful change. It will be something that you don't expect, but when it happens, you're going to know it. It's that type of feeling. Now, for those of you wanting romance in your life, or you have romance in your life, or you have that special person, or you want that special person, it will be different for different people. We've got to express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And, you know, if you've been together for 20 years, or two months, you know, go ahead and be honest. Tell them how you feel. Um, if they're not here yet, be open to receive and be open to them coming to you. Be open to that feeling of love entering into your life. Okay, I feel like that um, you've got... <laughs> what is somebody not telling you? Yeah, well, what is somebody from the past not telling you? I want to tell you how I feel. So someone from your past wants to tell you how they feel. We need to let go of each other. I am becoming a better person. I know I messed up everything. So that whoever this is, they know they messed everything up and they're working on themselves. Um, they want to talk to you, but they know that it's best that they just don't. That, you know, you and them go your separate ways. It's that type of feeling. Okay. Let's see. I feel like there's one more card. I'll take you. I think I'm going to take you an affirmation card. I feel like that's the card that we need to go with. We got two of them. Peace and health. We'll start with peace. Repeat after me, please. I am a being of love, and I release all negative energy. I am a being of love, and I release all negative energy. I am a being of love, and I release all negative energy, and so it is. And then we have health. Repeat after me, please. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul, and so it is. That's what I've got for you. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate each and every one of you more than you'll ever know. I truly do. And, uh, yeah, till next time. Bye.